Well, finally a soaking rain all across much of central Maryland. This Wednesday has been filled with wet weather woes, but much needed rainfall in hopes to erase the moderate drought concern. On top of that, we're going to have the winds kick into gear to dry us out as we get from now into your Thursday. Gusts upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour, even 45 mile per hour gusts cannot be ruled out in Baltimore up to the north and west and down to the south along the eastern shore through Thursday afternoon. Rainfall estimates once again lots of blue that is good news between one to two inches of rain widespread across central Maryland as well as the eastern shore we did need that rain it's not going to take care of the drought fully but it really helps us out the heaviest now up towards New Jersey coastal low getting going and it's going to bomb out somewhere up there across the New England coastline winds over 60 miles per hour for them high wind warnings in place along the coast low pressure number two putting down snow in Canada high pressure out across portions of Missouri that will be on the move as we get towards the end of the work week so rain we wave goodbye but we say hello to the the wind it will be blowing in as we get towards your Thursday into Friday gust upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour and that gives us a bit of a wind chill factor to deal with as we get towards the afternoon hours of your Thursday and Friday. Overnight lows tonight in the 40s, mostly cloudy, turning windy, blustery tomorrow afternoon, gust upwards of 45 with high temperatures struggling to make 60s. Friday, the sunshine is back, but it's still breezy at times with high temps topping out in the 60s. 64 on your Friday, 66 on Saturday with more rain by the beginning of next week. Remember you can download our free mobile app at WMAR2 News available at the Apple and Google Play Store or look us up at WMAR2News.com, Facebook and Twitter for the latest weather and news updates. Stay safe, stay dry and have a great evening ahead. I'm meteorologist Eric Taylor.